Hi, welcome to How to D&D. My name is Fred Wheeler, and today I'm going to paint a snake miniature. This particular miniature comes from the Wrath of a Shardalon board game, and I've sprayed it this time. Rather than trying to paint this thing directly after I've washed, I mean, I washed all the miniatures. I did, I cleaned them thoroughly, but I just found that last time I did something like this, the black paint just did not stick. So I got myself some spray paint. I actually had this already. So this is Fine Finish Primer. I got it from the, the game store. I don't know um, exactly, uh, I mean you can probably get other products. I don't think you necessarily have to get this. But this is for plastics and metal and it's a light grey. Which means I've got to paint them black, but that's fine. So <clears throat> my plan today is to paint these complete and because I've got three I can let things dry and I can do everything in sort of stages and build everything up. So let's get started. So my first job is I got organized this time. I got myself a container that's smaller because last time I had something a lot larger and I had a lot of trouble actually getting to the miniature. So I got myself one of these GoMan Plus um, Go Health uh, containers. I've got a bit of blue tag on the top so I can stick my miniature to it. Right, here we go. So I'll get rid of these for now, just put them off to the side. I'm going to try to paint everything black, and then after that... Oh, hello Mitchell, how's it going? Um, I'm going to try and paint everything black, and then once I've painted everything black and they've sort of dried, I'm going to leave them over here by the lamp and uh, let them dry a bit faster, and then I will sort of uh, go to the next colour. My plan today is to go with black, that's my prime color. I'm going to use black as my base. I'm going to use green because I figure a snake is probably more likely to be green. This time, instead of mixing colors, which you could do um, to make green, uh, you could mix your blue and your yellow to make your green if you absolutely must because you haven't got any green in your, in your supplies. So you can mix your own paint, but I decided this time for the sake of my sanity, I, I wasn't going to bother doing that. And green's a pretty common colour, so I'm going to need it at some point anyway. Particularly if I keep doing videos like this. So you can mix it by putting your blue and your yellow together. Um, and then I'll be using white. I will also use a little bit of yellow. Not an awful lot, but enough to sort of get the job done. Uh, guys, I don't know what the, the strength of my signal is in terms of my phone. It's usually pretty good. But uh, leave a comment below if there are any problems with uh, the voice and just the feedback. You know, if the, if the system's going down and it looks like it's going to be unwatchable, you let me know in the comments, please. All right. So, today, let's get going. Um, I used this tray last time to paint my black on. So, I'm just going to grab a very basic brush. I figure, I figure I'm going to put it on pretty fast. So, I'll use a bigger brush. And then I'll use the smaller brush to get in all the spaces. You might have noticed that even with the spraying, I couldn't get into the mouth of the snake. And I also couldn't get behind it completely. I mean, that's just the nature of spraying. You can't necessarily cover everything. Sometimes you have to do it in multiple um, applications. And I only did this in one application, which is really quick, just this morning. All right. So some black. I think black is sort of the universal base coat for anything. <laughs> I always found it was anyway. Um, actually, I think that's going to require just a little bit more. I'm going to go through it pretty quick. All right. Now, I'm not going to water it down because hopefully it's going to actually build it up fairly quickly. All right. Well... I think that's actually going on better than it did before. The areas that I didn't get the, the, the primer on, certainly they aren't sort of covering quite as easily. The inside the mouth there, you can see I'm going to be fiddling with that for a little while. I think what I'll do is I'll get some paint in there and come back to that. Um, if I've got this in sort of a bad location you can't see, let me know. I'm kind of trying to dangle my head over my mic while I do this at the same time. It's not necessarily the best view, is it? Anyway. I did no cleanup on the mold lines for this particular miniature because if I had done so, 
uh, I would have probably lost quite a lot of uh, detail, so I didn't want to do that. So I didn't do any cleanup whatsoever. Um, I have done cleanup on other miniatures, but not this one. I don't know if you guys watch my channel, but um, I recently did a video on monster tactics. And, oh my lord, um, I was wanting to do it for ages because I'd seen very little sort of done on the topic. But I realized after I'd done that video that, that I, <laughs> I should have structured it very differently. I would certainly be interested in anybody who's got feedback on that. Um, I think next time I do something like that, I'm going to do, most of my videos are sort of pros and cons or just different ways of doing things rather than saying that you should do something a particular way. And I looked at that video and I thought, that's exactly what I've done. I've told people how they should run their wolf. And I'm like, well, that was like a stupid thing to do um, because I run my wolves differently pretty much all the time. Um, I mean, there's usually some sort of theme to it in terms of how I'm going to do stuff, but I'm never really consistent uh, <laughs> and for multiple different reasons. So, yes, I think the next monster video uh, on tactics is going to be very, very different. And I think that's... That is covered so much better than, than it did before. Definitely putting the primer on made a big difference. Let's make sure I get into all the little crevices. And I haven't watered down the paint at all because I want the first paint um, coat to actually cover. And I'm not like a fantastic painter. It's not like I'm really good at this or anything like that. Okay, I think that's covered it. Right now, I wonder if I can get it off without making a mess and getting my fingers covered in paint. Well, that ain't going to happen. That's coming off, but there's going to be paint on the fingers. I've probably taken some paint off in the process. I feel like I should have had a bit of newspaper or... Um, I usually have a paper towel, a bunch of paper towels, but I ran out of paper towels. I keep my paper towels in the fridge, which I know is strange, <laughs> but I have a thing about making my paper towels cold. <laughs> anyway, uh, more black. I've got to say these um, these paints are awesome. The fact that you can just squeeze out the paint rather than pull it out of a, a paint pot like in the Citadel paints, you've got a cap, you've got to pull the cap off, you often wind up spilling it. These are just awesome in comparison. I'm actually waiting for a blue in this particular paint so I don't have to use the Citadel that much. Anyway, back to putting on my black. Making sure I get it in the mouth first since that seems to be the troubled spot. It is about almost 2.30 p.m. here in New Zealand and I imagine everybody else is in the wee hours. Uh, possibly just about to go to sleep or <laughs> staying up late. It's one of the, the problems with running live stream and most of the content that is watched uh, that I put out is seen by North America and Canada. Um, surprisingly, I, I didn't realize that there's actually quite a, people, quite a lot of people from Germany and a little bit from Australia. And the least number of people who watch my channel are from New Zealand. Um, probably because New Zealand's very small. Um, when I say small, I'm serious. It's, it's a very small country. Well, that is definitely going on well. I was spending the, the morning before I did this live stream cutting uh, video clips together and I'm in the process of just tidying up uh, a video on difficult terrain which oh my god I played with it so much I was like sitting there deciding whether I should actually finish there or redo it Canada ah, I should have guessed North America Canada Nice to know, um, know you, um, Mitchell. I'm glad you're watching. 
the last time I did this, I had um, a few people watching, and I was like, oh, I don't know if that piece of people really actually want to watch me painting a miniature. That seems like a really silly thing to do. But I've been told I should give it a go. All right, so I think that... Hang on, there's a little bit there that could be a little bit darker. Let's put some more paint in there. Okay. Mm, just trying to get the light in the right place so I can see if there's everything's been covered. All right. Yep, that's done it. All right, now I've got to try and get it off. Any tips help doing a great job? Thanks. Um, any tips in terms of this? Look, I wouldn't go and buy the best brushes out there. Not to put on your base coat and to do some of your work. I um, oh, There's more paint on my fingers. I'd just stick with buying really cheap ones just to get the paint on. And there's no problem with, you know, I mean, you need to have some better brushes later on. I do have a, I bought a, a really good, uh, Citadel large dry brush which I had before but I couldn't find it I found it in my toolbox so a dry brush that's really good um, I've got a whole bunch of cheaper smaller brushes these blue things and then I've got a finer tip which is probably not the finest tip you can have but because my eyes aren't very good my hand isn't very steady see this this is this is this is the sort of thing I'm going to wind up doing and even though I'm pressing up against like uh, the tabletop, uh, my my detail work isn't that great. And I, I'm just hoping my brother doesn't spot this particular video and start watching it because he'll probably be ripping me to pieces. He's very good at painting and I'm not so good at this sort of thing. But uh, yeah, don't buy the best brushes. Um, just go and get yourself a whole bunch of cheaper ones and just buy a few brushes that are better that you're going to be doing, you know, for detail work and then the dry brush work. Okay, that's stuck on. And back to the mouth because that's the trouble area again. And I'm hoping that by the time I've finished this particular snake, one of those snakes will be dry. Oh. Surprised I managed to get most of it on with this big brush. And there's a big spot that I didn't cover with um, primer, and it's gonna it's gonna be hard to keep the paint on there. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, I was I was shooting video um, or editing video because I shot some video during the week after work um, to try and calm my nerves. Uh, I'm I'm being made redundant. I'm actually about to lose my job, which means it's possible you'll get more videos from me. But if that's the case, that means I'm probably not going to be able to pay my bills. Um, and uh, yes, <laughs> a little bit worried right now, but we'll see how we go. I've got time to sort things out. But I was uh, dealing with that difficult terrain video, editing that. And there was another one. Uh, on pre-generated character sheets. Oh, this doesn't look good. It's it's working hard to try and keep things going, but it doesn't look like it's working too well. Hopefully we don't have a dropout. Yep, yeah, it looks like it's gonna struggle to be able to stream this today. I don't know why. It's not like it, everything was working pretty fine before I started up. Good internet connection, solid um, upload speed, download speed. Yeah, well, it all it happens to us all, right? I mean, I've been fired before. Um, that's not very nice. And I've never been made redundant. And I, I've come across a few people who have, and they've sort of explained what it's like. But once you've, you know, when, when you actually experience it, it's like, oh my gosh. And it's like near the end of the year, it's like the worst time of the year to be looking for work. So, yes, I'll be, uh, I've done up my CV and I'll look for another job. 
and maybe I can get some temp work with the company I'm with, but um, I do sort of feel like they just want, want me gone, so we'll see how that all works out. Uh, what was the, um, yeah, there was another video that I did as well, and it was, oh, narrating combat. I did um, some edit work on a video called narrating combat, and I've narrated combat before. It's kind of strange doing a video on narrating combat because my channel is usually about rules. And suddenly I'm saying, well, guess what? You can narrate your combat and not use the rules and not worry about mechanics. And I'm not sure how well that's going to go down. Uh, that video is either shocking or it stopped working. I'm not really liking the look of that. Let's see if that'll make any difference. You never know. Maybe it'll fix itself. Ah, that's better. All right. It was just buffering. Too much buffering. Okay. All right, so that's the, the basic black. And I'm just going to get it off without getting it all over my fingers again. Oh, God. Oh, that didn't work out too well. I might have to do a bit of a touch-up there. Okay. So... And I probably put out too much black. There's a lot of black left. What I'll do is just have a look at the other ones who are drying and see if there's anything that I need to touch up right where my finger was. That's, that's what needs to be touched up. In fact, I don't know if you can necessarily see that, but when I pulled it off, there's my fingerprint. <laughs> so, so, yes, I'm going to have to come up with a better way of pulling them off maybe a couple of containers, three of these, so I don't have to take them off, and they can just sit there and dry. Um, <laughs> I just don't know if I necessarily am, it's gonna take a long time to have three vitamin containers available. <laughs> right, so we'll stick that on, and we'll start working on that. It's pretty dry. There she goes. Okay. It's not too bad. Um, I wonder if we can just get away with just a little touch up and then that's it. Okay, that's not too bad. That's all right. Get rid of the finger mark. And that's done as well. And of course that'll have to dry just briefly. Anyway, uh, that brush can go into, into the water. And we'll move on to the next step. So we've got one black snake. And what I want to do is I want to dry brush on some green. And I'm going to have to switch out my little container. So move that out of the way. And something a little bit... Oh, I know. I'll use the green container. That'll make it confusing. You won't even be able to see the paint. Anyway. All right, so I think to put the paint on, I'm going to use the dry brush. I mean, the, the cheaper brushes that I've got, didn't do a bad job because um, they got fine bristles on them but uh, I think I'm going to use the, the big fancy looking dry brush just to get the, the, the basic colour on and then I'll go from there time to get some green alright so I'm only dry brushing so let's see if we can just get away with just a small amount and then we'll go from there now I'm I'm tempted to water it down, but I don't know what it's going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it just a little bit off the corner. And since I didn't bring any paper with me, I'm just going to brush it off on the container and get it as thin as I can. And then see what happens when I apply it. Just using the corner. Hmm. Well, I have to say... I don't really feel that it's working very well. It's either too much paint or this paint is actually too thin. Would you believe it? Sometimes you think, oh, just water down the paint. It's probably quite thick in the container, but this is definitely not. Oh my gosh, these bristles coming out. That's too already. That didn't take long. I hardly did anything. All right, okay. So large dry brush, Citadel. 
losing losing brush um, brush hairs already, so not necessarily the best one to get. <laughs> Maybe I can use the other one and it'll, it'll lose less hair. Anyway, let's see. All right, I'm going to go over with what I've got and see if I can get what paint is on here off. And hopefully by then that paint is sort of dried on the container because that'll help. And there we go. So do any of you um, paint miniatures? Are you painting anything in particular yourself, Mitchell? All right. Oh man, I'm, using, I'm losing more brush and bristles. That's disappearing more. Come on, you. I think that's working slightly better now. Not yet. Are you um, are you mostly into Dungeons and Dragons, or are you just painting, or you normally play the game? gonna um, sort of shout out to you because the only one in the room is actually talking to me and I don't know about you but I have a really strange oh how's it going hi Joss did I get it right I'm really bad with names I feel really bad when I make, um, I make a botch up of pronouncing somebody's name It's weird though, you know, doing these videos and you talk to yourself, you kind of start to think maybe you've got some psychological issues. <laughs> and and um, uh, considering what's been going on for me recently, uh, you know, <clears throat> I've been waiting for the psychological um, issues to start to crop, um, crop up, but they haven't yet. Uh, let's, let's, I'm going to cross my fingers, cross my fingers I don't lose my mind. <laughs> This is not really what I was hoping for. Okay, this is this is going to be really awkward. I might actually have to mix my own paint. If this is going to be as thin as this, this might not work out. Oh, so you just started playing D&D? You DM for your friends and that's... Oh, you found this... Ch okay. You know what you need to do is if there's anything that's not on my playlist, you need to let me know basically what you need to know about how to play the game because if you do that uh, I, I can't do everything some things people ask me to do and I, it's so complicated um, or I just don't know the answer it's not like I can answer everything but um, yeah ask me questions suggest stuff in the comments suggest things in the chat room you'd be surprised it doesn't take um, forever eventually things that people suggest do actually start to crop up just like anything it takes time Right, Josh, you, was, you just saw the wolf video. It was spot on. Yeah, you know, I I, th I think it was all right, but I feel like what I should have done is I should have, with the wolf video, I should have stipulated that you don't necessarily have to have them disengage. Thank you, Josh. I, I'm trying really hard um, to get a, a better library going. It's taken a while, man. It's taken like a year and a half. Um, but with that wolf video, often I've had my wolves not disengage and they, to, to try to escape, I will just have them just move and then use their, their action as a, a dash because that gives them like 80, 80 feet, you know, they're 40 feet standard um, speed and then 80 feet they get to get, get a lot further away and by 80 feet they can usually get off the off the visible plane so the players can't see them anymore and they just got to get around the, the fact they might get hit by that first opportunity attack and if there's more than one opportunity attack then bang on yeah I mean I, I think that's a, a good way of doing it and what was the other one um, not just the the dash action for the wolf but also Rather than using a dash or a disengage when leaving combat, is to use dodge. 
because the chances are you won't get far enough away. I mean, most players have got 30 feet, which means if they've got 30 feet, they can dash. That means they can go 60 feet, which you can't get away. Uh, so the best way might be to actually, and I think I just need to do a video on, on dodge, taking the dodge action. Um, so you get further away, you move into some area that sort of splits you up, um, so you, you don't have everybody attacking you all at once, because not everybody's going to chase you down and try and uh, get into melee um, combat, and you use the dodge action so that you, uh, you don't get hurt quite so bad. On the help action, Mitchell, good news, I have a video on the help action. There is definitely one. There's actually two, so you are in luck. One for using the help action with a familiar, and one for the, just a general help action. Yeah, I've got a basic dodge um, uh, video. There is one on dodge, so that's not going to be a problem. You should be able to find that under how to play Dungeons & Dragons 5e. Um, yes, Joss, good point. They could howl and call for more bulls because the chances are there are probably a lot more around somewhere. Although I, th I kind of feel that if, if you're a wolf pack and you're going hunting, you'd probably all be together. You're welcome, Mitchell. I'm glad I could help. Uh, right. I kind of feel like that's sort of got some green on it, but it still looks pretty dark. I think most of you all would admit me. <laughs> would say it's more black, Fred. It's more black than green. But um, that's the first, the first green coat. I think I'm going to leave it at that. Grab the other one, and try to apply some green over that. Let it dry. Do it in stages. I've got to find a better way of doing this. I'm going to have to eat more vitamins. <laughs> anyway, where's this? I think that's dry. Stick that on. Ah. Okay. Well. There it is again, my finger mark. I'm going to pull them off. All right, so when you're doing this, make sure you've got lots and lots of vitamin containers so you can attach each one that you're painting, whether it be black or whatever, and you're doing them in stages. Uh, you don't have to pull them off and you just leave them on. Otherwise, you're going to have to deal with finger marks everywhere. Okay. All right, where's my uh, little brush? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch up the black and I'm going to work on the top section since it's dry with my green. Okay. Alright. That's done. That's good enough. Put the brush in there, let that wash off. I was watching um, a couple of channels recently that have done really nice videos. I'm kind of jealous, you know, because some of these people have done some really awesome stuff. And Don't Stop Thinking, done a, a fabulous video series on uh, the different classes and how they work. They're, uh, it's pretty rapid, you know, it's, it's a pretty steep learning curve they've given you, but it's still impressive, and it covers a lot of material in a very short space of time. All right, let's get this green. I'm still losing bristles. See, this is the thing, you know. This is an expensive brush, and I'm losing bristles. Chances are you get a cheap brush, and you'll still lose bristles. You'll be in the same situation. Well, truthfully, no, the snakes aren't, but I'm, I'm sick and tired of having my um, Wrath of the Shardalon miniatures unpainted, and I just wanted to get them done. I mean, I've got enough, I've got enough snakes as it is, really, but um, I thought I would do them because I've just been sitting there doing nothing. And the last time I, I did uh, the cave bear, I, it actually really helped me. I mean, I was just chatting with you guys and um, painting, just painting. I mean, I could just paint and have you guys not, not around, that's fine too, but uh, <laughs> it's actually nice to have uh, somebody to talk to. But I, I found that it was really sort of relaxing for me, and I sort of de-stressed from 
you know, the week of work and particularly since this week has been really stressful. Um, you have that game too? Yeah, I, uh, I also bought Castle Ravenloft, which is really, it's really cheap for the number of miniatures you get in it. Um, I don't actually play the game. I actually found the board game more complicated and harder to understand. And I did watch some videos on it. Um, but it, <sighs> I prefer to play Dungeons and Dragons, honestly. So, yeah, I haven't actually played the game. I'm just using the miniatures. I'm not honestly sure what my next campaign will be. I always find that I, there's a couple of ideas I want to run. I'm still doing Curse of Strahd. And um, I present a few ideas to my players, and then they tell me. Spartanix. Mr. Spartanix. Hi, how's it going? I like the name. It's very cool. Uh, yeah. Do -do -do -do. What was the other um, channel that I saw just recently, too, who did uh, some very nice videos? I don't know if any, any of you watch um, Wally DM. Now, Wally DM, really small channel. Um, smaller than mine, about half the size. Uh, but, I mean, compared to my videos, he probably gets m more views on a small number of um, videos. He's got maybe, seems to be between 500 and 600 views for every video he does. Tomb of Annihilation board game is coming out and I'm going to get it. Joss makes a perfect sense to me. Dinosaurs and a whole lot of really other strange creatures. I actually got dinosaurs coming out my ears so I don't actually need more dinosaurs but um, I'm looking forward to the, the booster boxes for uh, Tomb of Annihilation because of the, the little clockwork guys with the wings, um, the Modrons. Uh, I, I really want to have an adventure where I get to use M Modrons. Like I haven't done that. I did it briefly, and I didn't get a chance to actually do much more with it. I didn't get to finish it off. So it would be nice to be able to do that. But yeah, I've got a video that I'm putting together for the Castle Ravenloft board game. Just sort of a review. And I will probably wind up... Once I've got through the Wrath of the Shardalon, I'll probably wind up painting those miniatures as well. Seems like a reasonable thing to do. It's very dark. I'm going to have to lighten things up a lot. Okay, here we go. Here's the trick. How do I get it off without sticking my fingers all over the paint? Okay. Well, I think I was successful, mainly because it was dry. <laughs> Okay, next one. And there's the familiar Fred finger mark. <laughs> All right, so there's my brush. This every time I pull them off this thing, finger mark, Fred, finger mark. Okay, clean out my brush. I'm just gonna patch up that little finger mark with some black paint like I did before. But um, yeah, back to Wally DM. I was talking about him, wasn't I? He does lots and lots of puzzle videos. And I, really, he's probably the only one. Um, I, haven't, I mean, I know people do have puzzle videos on YouTube every once in a while, but he's probably the most consistent. And he uses miniatures and props, and he um, explains things. Not only does he um, just explain things, but he, he gives you multiple ways of resolving it. So the players aren't sort of stuck with trying to work out one different way of solving the puzzle. And I thought his videos were really, really good. Um, what was the other channel I saw pop up? There was Dungeon Life. I think Dungeon Life has wound up being called D&D &D Beyond. Um, as far as I can tell it is. But that's, I've noticed D&D Beyond, that channel's popped up and there's been a whole lot of interviews with people. How to deal with power gamers. I, you're tired of them, all my players are, yeah, okay. Do you know, I understand where you're coming from. Um, and I'll explain to you why. As a general rule, most of 
my players up to about a couple of months ago were all dungeon masters. And they weren't just dungeon masters, they also played the game. They were all power gamers, <laughs> a whole lot. <laughs> and they're actually close friends, and I know what to expect, they're going to do it. And there's no way that my little brain can cope with all of their brains uh, and the kind of tactics and knowledge of the game they would have. There's, I can't keep up with um, John and Mark and Jason and all the rest. They're just going to be better at it than I am. That's just the reality of it. So when it comes to power gamers and dealing with them, I think your best bet is just don't worry about it. What I do is I just don't follow encounter building rules with them because uh, it just doesn't apply. They've got a, they're on a totally different level. So don't worry about using proper challenge ratings. Hi there, Overlord, how's it going? That's probably the easiest way to deal with power gamers. Ah, the yawning portal, dungeons, and lots of traps and puzzles, and yeah, yeah, Wally DM, really awesome resource. He's got lots and lots of puzzles there, and I'm sure you will enjoy them. Uh, okay, what, Mr. Spartanex, um, the rogue deals 66 plus 1d 10 plus, plus 4 per turn. Where did that come from? I'm not too sure which uh, what you're referring to there. You'll have to explain a little bit more, otherwise I'm going to be a little bit lost. Having a good Friday? Actually, um, it's not Friday here. It is Saturday, 3 p.m. in New Zealand. Okay, so Mr. Spartan X, throw monsters at them that temporarily reduce ability scores. It creates fear and makes them step back a bit. Yeah, you can do that. The problem is if you get too many at the table, um, it's all going to be over in about the second round. And if they're really good, it's all over in the first round. <laughs> well, that is a lovely noise. That sounds like a car's fan belt. Oh, okay. He's gone. <laughs> yeah, but back to power gamers. Um, don't bother following encounter building rules. It's 10.56 p.m. In, on the East Coast in the U.S. Yeah, that's, that's the nature of the world, eh? Different time zones. Yeah, yeah. So I'm having a good yesterday if you're... Yeah, that's right. You are having a good yesterday. It's Friday for you. It's Saturday for me. Hunter's Mark. He's a ranger, multi-class. Hall of Thorns, I guess. Uh, <laughs> well, as soon as they multi-class, it's a totally different kettle of fish. And most power gamers will multi-class. And they'll, they'll, <laughs> they'll pick a level in Rogue or Fighter. And, and they'll pick up um, anything that will give them, you know, bonuses. I know a lot of, a lot of power gamers like the variant, human variant, um, but uh, that's sort of done and dusted. I think a lot of people are now picking up the half-elf because surprisingly quite a powerful um, class if you're using the right uh, race, if you're using the right class. Well, I won't know who, I don't have no idea. I won't get that information until uh, it's, <laughs> you know, the chances are if there's a baseball game in your country and um, that I won't get the information until days after you know about it. It's the world of the internet, but I am in New Zealand and um, we don't really fo follow baseball. There's another here. Bye bye here. What you can do with Power Gamers too is uh, occasionally what I will do is I will eliminate um, the map. As soon as you eliminate the map and you're going theft of the mind, it makes it a little bit more difficult to figure out how to use some of their abilities and scores. That can be kind of a bit dirty too because I know they won't like that. 
and you'll have somebody get upset. I've, what I always do is I put the map out no matter what. Even if I have no intentions of using the battle map, <laughs> I'll still put it out just to alleviate their, concern, their concerns and, and then I'll run it as a, a theatre of the mind. Um, and also too, I don't worry so much about having every encounter with them be uh, taxing or resource hungry. What I do with power gamers is I'll have lots and lots of really easy encounters and they'll just barrage through and just start getting complacent and then I'll throw a really hard encounter at them, something that's really tough and um, that'll throw them off. And I usually do that near the end of the adventure as sort of the boss fight or in key locations so that it's not happening all the time. That's another way of dealing with power gamers. You can also get advice. They, you'd be, be surprised how many power gamers will give you advice on how to run your monsters and do a better job. Um, but of course you can't do that in the middle of the game. You need to do that sort of after or before. Um, and I think after is probably the smartest way. Do, 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 do. Well, man, this, this paint is just coming out so dark. Let's get some more in there. And I've got to let it sort of sit there and dry a little bit before it sort of um, it applies. Otherwise, it just seems to fill up all the little crevices. Anyway, it's not like I'm a top painter. Uh, with us, how about giving them a time limit on their combat turn? You can. You can give time limits on um, on their turn to a power gamer. I don't know if you guys have seen the video I did on what's behind my dungeon master screen, but I have a timer. I carry a timer with me. Yes. So the, the, the thing with uh, giving a power gamer a time frame is they, they actually have pretty much sorted out what they're going to do before their turn comes up. So... <laughs> <laughs> it just seems to be the nature of it. They usually have that all figured out. Anyway. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't know if there's... I mean, maybe somebody else in the, uh, the chat who's, um, who's watching has got some advice on how to deal with power gamers. Most of my videos, if you haven't figured it out, I, it's not like I have, I'm a, a brimming encyclopedia of, um, of solutions. Sometimes I actually have to sit down and do a bit of research and have a big hard think. Sometimes I get stuff um, and ideas from what I've done. And other times, it's actually based off somebody else's experience. Um, uh, Mike Shaw, the Sly Flourish, the Lazy Dungeon Master, He's pretty good. He's got a blog. I wish he would do a video blog. I think he should do video blogs rather than just written blogs. But I think that's because he likes to have everything prepared and edited and well laid out. And he's got a, a he's got a pretty impressive looking website. Yeah, yeah. Drunkards and Dragons uses encounter timers, and that can really. I recommend watching his videos. They're very very good. I've been planning to do a video on Sly Flourish because he's got a really good website, but he just doesn't do any video content. Um, and it's a shame, because I think he should. I think if he was on YouTube doing videos, the likes of me wouldn't have a, have a chance. And um, I'd, I'd have to say that even somebody like... Um, uh, Matt Colville and uh, WebDM and Nerdarchy would probably have a run for their money because Mike's very, very good at that sort of stuff. Now, I'm not saying that Nerdarchy and <laughs> WebDM or Matthew um, Colville aren't good because they really are. They're, they're very good at doing videos and explaining stuff. Increase the hit points, yes, DC, and saving throws of enemies. That's what I, yeah, actually, you, it's a good point. Change the monsters. Don't run them as they are in the book. That's a very good point um, with Riss. Uh, hopefully I got your name right. <laughs> if I haven't, I apologize. I did a video on the Tomb of Beasts, and that's got a whole lot of different monsters, so if you really wanted to shake them up, 
And those those things don't pull any punches, man. They they don't just take off hit points. They have they're gonna affect them, um, give them conditions. Uh, some of these things you can't get rid of. You actually have to go and wait a bit of time, uh, get a certain ability, a spell. Uh, some things are permanent. Okay, it looks very, very dark. I'm going to have to lighten these up so much more, otherwise they're going to kind of look like black, black wolves, and not much else. It's always the first colour though, eh? Once you start lighting up the colours, then it'll, it'll stand out a bit more. Yeah, Hanker is cool. I really wanted to do a video on playing Dungeons and Dragons and drinking um, beer or alcohol. Um, the problem is I've got a, a dietary problems nowadays and I can't drink alcohol. And in, but my experience with people who just drink a little bit at the gaming table, I know this sounds weird because I work at a drug and alcohol rehab, <laughs> uh, make the game really fun. Um, it's only when they start to take down half a dozen beer, or they bring a bottle of wine and they drink the half the bottle of wine or the whole bottle of wine that it starts to get to be a problem. <laughs> yeah, you don't have the wrath of a shuttle on, so you, does the book set, um, box set describe the snakes as, as being... Okay, so the, the box set for wrath of a shuttle on is... It doesn't actually state all of the miniatures that are in there. I don't think so, anyway. But I did a video on the Wrath of a Shardalon, and I show you everything in there. I go into detail. I think that video is called Where to Buy Cheap Official D&D Miniatures. Um, if you look for that video, I think it's under, my, under the playlist Popular Videos for my channel. It's probably the most popular video I have, but I do actually go into detail and describe exactly what is in that box, so you know exactly what you're buying. And most of that information is near the end of the video rather than at the front. Okay, that's that. Dry brushed. Looks green to me, may not look green to you. If I can put it up against the white, move this out of the way a little bit. Move it a bit closer. So it was black, and now it's a little bit greener than it was before, but not a lot. We're going to apply more paint, different layers, using green the whole way until we get what we want. All right, now I've got to pull it off. Ah. Okay. The good thing about the dry brushing process is the paint dries really fast, so the next layer of paint is not going to be an issue. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put out some green and lighten up my, my green with some white. Because that's what you would normally do, right? Is you lighten up your colour with white. And I want to do this in one batch so I can get all, all three done. So there's my green. If my hand's in the way, I apologise. I'll try to sort of keep my fingers out of the way. Now, you might have noticed that I haven't done anything. I haven't actually gone and taken my brush, my dry brush, and cleaned it out in the water. Why have I done that? Well, I'll tell you why. Because it takes too long. You've got to dry the brush off for it to work properly otherwise. So I wouldn't dry it um, dry it wash it out just yet. You're still working with green, so it's not going to be an issue. If I was dealing with another colour, it might be different. Okay. Ah, oh, that's right, the white. I need to shake it. Shake it, baby, shake it. Shake it, baby, shake, shake. Shake it, baby, shake it. Shake, shake. Upside down, round and round. Okay. So you can see, when I was doing this, it looks more like water. It looks like a watery white something. It doesn't look like paint. Anyway, put that in. 
I'm going to use one of my cheap, nasty brushes for mixing the paint, since that seems like the most sensible thing to do. Okay, I'll scoop up about one of them and see what happens if I mix it in. That did pretty much nothing. All right, so I'm going to need a lot more white. Well, it's lighter than it was before, but I don't want to be here forever. A fistful of dice is called. Yeah, now he is. He's done some really good videos. Mostly nowadays, he does um, promotional stuff for his um, his business, and does a lot of um, uh, video content on the provokers and just running his games. I still feel like he needs to go back to doing his um, Dungeons and Dragons DM advice videos because he had some very good stuff. Although, is there anything else he really needed to add? I'm not sure there was. I still think that uh, it would be nice to see those back because I, I enjoyed them. It's um, one of the reasons why I thought, well, if, if he can do it, maybe I can do it. A lot of these channels sort of made me think that maybe I can actually, you know, shoot video and offer something to somebody else. And like anything, you know, nobody, nobody has all the answers, so it's always good to get um, advice from other people and see how other people do stuff. Okay, so that has worked out better. I'm going to see if I can just move this brush without sort of covering my, my paper with a whole lot of paint. Now this, I don't know if you can see. All right, I'll see you later. Have a good time at work. You can see my green is a lot lighter and I'm going to stick with that for my dry brush on the next three little snakes and see how that works out. Okay, which one looks driest? It looks all right. They're all pretty much the same. Let's squeeze this a bit. Do -do -do. Uh, squish them on. There we go. All right, now, big dry brush and get a little bit of paint on there and then brush it off. So we don't get too much coming off all at once. And I might just use a piece of paper over here. Okay. Alright, all right, let's see if that works. Hmm. Maybe not enough. It went green really quick. It's helped a little bit. Could I try a, a wet palette to paint with too? You know, um, layering is like a, a much more, you could. Um, I'm honestly not a fantastic painter. My, my brother would not use dry brushing as a technique. And a more advanced technique for um, painting anything is to use layering, um, which I'm not really that familiar with. And it's, it's time consuming. And I, I don't do a lot of painting. You really do need to paint a lot to get layering figured out. Um, I, I can advise you on a really good person to watch. Does really short videos. Um, uh, what's the name? Um, I think it's Alea13. Alea13 does like one, two minute videos on how to paint. And she's very good at it. And she makes it simple to understand shows you everything, and uh, yeah, I highly re recommend her if you want to really know how to paint and use a wet palette. Okay, well, I think that's working a little bit. Okay, all right, I just need to be a bit more aggressive, I think. It's certainly greener than it was. Blum, blum, blum. Blum, blum. Okay. 
I feel like today has sort of been a sit down and tell you about everybody else's channel. <laughs> don't get enough time to watch some, uh, some of the other channels that are um, doing stuff so it's sort of um, it's nice when I can. I'm going to bring this a little bit closer. I think I could probably move myself how far up. Yeah, there we go. I'll bring it about there. That's probably and over a bit. I think that colour has pretty much done its dash. Problem with the light that I've got um, shining on here is um, it actually makes it makes it easier for you guys to see in the video, but it actually makes it harder for me because my eyes are light sensitive to actually see what I'm doing. But let's compare and see if there's a difference between the two. So this is what I've just done, and this is the the first layer of green. So you can see there's a slight difference in colour, not a huge difference. Yep. But there is a slight, it's this, it's lightening up a little bit. Oh, there you go, bring it over into the centre. Alright, so I think that's worked. We'll take that one off and put that over here. So I remember that I don't want to do that again. And I feel like that one's not quite dry. Let's do this one. Boom, 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 stay, stay, do not fall. Ah, when when I painted Snake Men, I went for a rattlesnake look, so I based in flesh tone, then dry brush tan and brown to get scales. Oh, well, that's a clever idea. The, we don't actually have snakes at all in New Zealand. We don't have snakes. It's not something we have. We have a lot of lizards and a lot of birds. And there's very few predators here. Um, we have a few spiders, but really nothing significant or impressive, which is kind of nice. There's, there's, there's not an awful lot in New Zealand that will kill you. Uh, so, <laughs> so, yeah. I'm not terribly familiar with snake colours, but I thought I would just go with a, a basic green colour. And because I've got three of them, I'm doing all of them the same colour, just for the sake of making it easy for people to see the stages as I, as I work through it. Alright. Let's see if I got that right. Okay. I think I have. Good. Let's try that now. In the bottom. Mmm. Maybe too much. I'm actually thinking the tummy should be sort of a yellowish colour and the rest of the um, um, colour of the snake is going to be green but we'll see how that works out. I feel like I should have made it lighter just so that I didn't have to do quite so many layers. Anyway, too late now. I'll get my opportunity to try that again in a second. Let's just get this on. Well, that's helped at the back. I'll move that around. Sorry, guys, you can't see. I keep moving it into it. I'm trying to look at my computer screen at the same time as paint. It's not very easy. <laughs> go that's better there's a reason why I put white paper down it's just so that the miniatures actually stand out a little bit more um, so you can see them as I'm painting otherwise you know the con there's not enough contrast all right that's not too bad I think that's pretty much got it actually I'd say I'm happy with that I don't have to put a lot of paint on, do I? I just need to get the um, the different sort of um, textures and colours working together. You're an island, Joss. No snakes. What sort of animals do you have in um, an island? 
your first live stream watching me. Nice to s body way eight. I'm just trying to remember if I've seen a comment from you before. Um, I know there's there's a few people with um, uh, names that have body in there. I can't remember. Nice to nice to see you. Glad to have you on board. I'm just painting a snake green and yellow today. Ah, so, okay, so this is not the first time we've had a discussion, just this is the first time live. All right. Well, welcome to the uh, my small abode as I try to paint my snakes green. I normally play Dungeons and Dragons on a Friday night, and this Friday was no Dungeons and Dragons because now that's not DM, that's play. Because I DM and play, I'm trying, trying to have a balance rather than just always DMing. Since I've been telling everybody else that they should do both, I'm trying to do the same myself. But I couldn't play this um, Sunday because everybody was doing other things, and it's only one night. But I was surprised how at the end of my working week, how much I missed it. You know, the opportunity to sort of hang out with people and uh, <laughs> so much, so much is lost apparently by just one day. Um, maybe that's because, uh, because I've had some bad news recently and I, I needed that to sort of make my fe myself feel better. Anyway. Do -do -do. Well, I didn't have to apply very much green to get that to work. That worked out pretty well. I do sort of feel like the, the lighter I go with a white colour, the more off... The, yeah, that it's not quite going to be the, the colour I'm, I'm after. So that's going to be... I'm either going to have to mix it with a different color or something else oh, I think I might have just put a little bit too much green there it happens oh well okay move it back towards the camera keep moving back away from you guys uh. Earlier there was a, a suggestion concerning a wet palette. I can say using one really helped me mini painting. Yep. Well, we've got somebody in here who, who uses a wet palette. So that's common with New Zealand. Ah, okay. Oh, you're not an island. Ah, I see. My mistake, Joss. Uh, yes, I am. Um, I don't have ivory off-white. I just have standard white. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of yellow and see if the green that I've got here um, sort of lightens up a little bit and gets me more of what I'm after, which is... a uh, a lighter effect um, in the green as I go rather than wind up with just going sort of off white or off green should I say it's too late here in Brazil gotta go good luck with this the sneaks <laughs> okay you're welcome I'll see you later get some sleep it's always you, know, you can watch this stuff later it'll be up up pretty shortly I imagine YouTube will post it pretty quickly after I have um, stopped the stream. You might just have to tolerate the, the big weight as I set up at the very beginning. Okay, alright, so let's have a go at lightening this up. I'm not going to use white, I'm going to use a yellow. So this is the colour that I thinned down. I started with my, my, uh, my green and I went lighter with white. And now I'm going to add yellow and see if I can get more of a, a green-yellow um, colour going. Well, that's the plan anyway. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to mix up um, blue 
and yellow and try and build my the color I want from that. Uh, is that enough? Let's see if that's going to work. And that brush is... Shouldn't have left it there. Should have put it in the water. It's drying out. Do -do 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 -do. I better get my ass into G because if I take too long, um, I'm going to run out of day here. I do, I do actually have to leave. Uh, when is it? Probably stop in, I don't know, half an hour, something like that. My partner finishes work and haven't seen her all week. But I will finish this before I go, if I can. Because another video showing you how to paint a, a snake green would just be appalling. Just appalling. Get the yellow in there. Mmm. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. As I add the yellow, that is just not working. I mean, it's lighter. Oh, okay, maybe if I add... Mmm. It's definitely lighter than it was before. I don't like it though. Um, more white. Let's try that. I'll shake this thing. That's right. Almost forgot. I'm just going to add a lot of... Oh gosh, that's right. It separates. Come on you. Just do it. There we go. Okay, so we'll add the white. Okay, I'm not adding any more white. If I add any more white, that's going to look more white than green. Okay, I think that'll do. We'll see how, how it looks on one of them. And if it looks terrible, then I won't continue with it. <laughs> At least the paint's starting to get a bit thicker too, because it's sort of drying out a bit. And, uh, yeah, okay, all right, let's try that. Dry brush, where is my container? And as long as I remember the order that I stuck them in, they should be dry by now. Ugh, stick it on. And straighten up. Okay, good, done. Okay, so stroke, 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 stroke. And let's just see if we can Get just a little bit of this off. I want it to sort of make you all the, the detail sort of pop a bit more now. Okay. And. Hmm. Did that do anything? Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's, that's working. Yep. That's working. Okay, I'm going to be more aggressive now and just get the paint on. And brush, 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 brush. Up here. What's my favourite low level minion type monster in Dungeons and Dragons 5e? Okay, well I can tell you what my least favourite uh, minion is, and that would be the goblin. My least favourite is the goblin, and my most favourite, what do I use the most? Uh, zombies, actually. Zombies, I don't know why, but that seems to be the one that I go to, and giant spiders. Um, I wouldn't say that's like low level ish. I mean, it's it's kind of low. I mean, it's kind of low level ish. Um, but yeah, I like giant spiders at low level, and I like zombies. Um, I can't really think of anything else. I've never really been fond of the kobold, and I've certainly not really been fond of. I mean, beasts 
Most beasts are pretty good to use at low level. I, I, you know, I don't mind using them. Um, and I'd say definitely wolves. I use a lot of wolves. They show up in my game quite a bit. Uh, particularly Curse of Strahd, because there's a lot of them. But yeah, that would probably be my favourite. What about yourself? What's your favourite, um, Joss? Now, let's compare that and see if there's a, a, a definite transition in lightness or colour, or have I just wasted my time? <laughs> Cranium Rats makes players paranoid. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, I like that idea. Okay, so is this got a slight change in colour? It is, it is a slight lightening in the colour. It certainly has lightened it up. But it isn't enough. I feel like the transition is just so slow. Mm, yep, yeah, okay. Alright. We'll do that. I can do those all pretty quickly anyway. It's, it's like a little quick brush over and it's done. You like bolds and rat swarms. Ah! Did you ever run um, Horde of the Dragon Queen? And there's a, a, there's a part in that particular adventure where the, the players are like level one and they have to deal with a tunnel with a rat swarm. <laughs> and, and I can't count the number of people who reported that their players got wiped out by a rat swarm <laughs> at level one. They'd already spent most of the resources trying to get to the, the castle and suddenly... Uh, <laughs> uh, spoilers for some people. Um, yeah. If you find yourself in that adventure, in a tunnel, with a rat sw swarm, <laughs> run away. <laughs> run away from the rat swarm. <laughs> okay. Well, no, it's, it's doing what it needs to do. It's lightening it up, and it is making it more, look more green, so it's not a waste. It's just a very gradual transition, I guess. And this paint is drying up. So I have to finish it before there's none left. Otherwise, I've got to make more paint and it'll be a different colour and that won't work for me. Because I don't want to do that. What sort of um, monster videos do you guys want me to make? You know, I mean, I can do stuff on, on other, other monsters if you want. I've really just been picking the ones that are really common. So I've I've done Wolf. Um, I've I've run this well, written the script for the zombie because I like using zombies. Um, are there particular monsters that you guys would like me to do tactic videos on or talk about? Which I could. Yeah, well. Makes sense to me. I won't disagree with that. Oh. Anyway. I just uh, I just want to get a basic paint job on these things so that they don't look like just unpainted red miniatures that have been pumped out of a factory. Okay, all right, so that's that's that one, and I've done, I've done all of them. God, I, did I do that one? I think I did. I think that was the third one. Oh, I'm losing my mind. Do I still need to do that one? Pretty sure that's done, that's done. Do they look similar? I think they do look similar. <laughs> okay, now I'm losing my place. Talking too much, not focusing. I can't imagine what it would happen. If I didn't talk and you just had to watch me putting paint onto a miniature, I'm sure you'd all be just going on doing something else. Um, and I'm not saying that I'm interesting to listen to. It's not the case at all. Do, 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 do. Yep, I think this has actually already been done. Okay, so I'm... Um, I'm actually just going back over my... Right, forget about that. Let's get rid of that. And next. 
I want a lighter color. I really want to, to, to make it look more green. And I feel like, oh, there it is. I should have paid attention. If I'd paid attention, I would have noticed camo green. It's the most green color I could find in the Vigeri and Valeri, Valeri, oh God, I can't even pronounce it now, in this particular paint. It looked the most green, but it's camo green, and there's where my problem lies. Great, I'm going to have to mix it myself. Yeah, a zombies um, video would be good. Um, you've heard the zombies from the Curse of Strahd are cool. They're different. They work differently. Uh, they're really difficult to track because the limbs come off and they fight on. So, weave, a wyvern, wyvern, weaven, uh, worthen. Um, yep, I could do that. You've got a, in a custom Pathfinder campaign, you've got a whole wing of, oh, okay, a whole wing of them for an airship. Oh, I love it. Fantastic idea. Well done. No, there aren't. There aren't a lot of miniatures in that particular uh, monster either. All right, okay. My problem is camo, lightening up camo is going to just be diabolical. That ain't going to work. So I'm ditching this. I want to get a lighter color. I'm going to use a new container. And I'm going to risk opening up the Citadel paint. I'm wearing a white shirt. I could wind up blue very shortly. <laughs> Give it a shake. <laughs> we'll get some blue and some yellow and we'll mix those two colors and see if we can actually get the color I want. Okay. And uh, success. Good news. <laughs> uh, where's that brush? Oh, I really should have bought, ran out of um, tissue paper and now I'm using the paper that I'm working on to, to clean off my brush. It's not really enough. Guys, give me 10 seconds. I'm going to run to the toilet, grab some toilet paper because I can use that and I'll be back. Who would have guessed that um, something as simple as a paper towel is so useful? All right, I've got my toilet paper. I'm just going to make it into a little pad. And that ought to work a little bit better now. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but basically here's my little toilet paper um, pad and I can then wipe off my paint. Sorry, I've got to get my head near the microphone, don't I? Uh, still a bit of green in there, but doesn't think it's going to matter because we're using green anyway. Just don't want to contaminate the blue. All right, let's try and mix my own green. Uh, okay. I think that's probably enough paint. All right, close that up. I'm so glad I'm not covered in blue paint. That's good news. I'm not really fa a fan of the Smurfs or becoming a Smurf. Yeah, that'll be fine. I'll just brush off as much of the paint as I can before I put it in the container and wash it up. Okay, good. Is anybody here currently working on any particular projects or um, just come along to watch watch me paint for a little while? Werewolves, Lycanthropes, Witch Hunt, Happening One Campaign, I was in Poison, oh okay, Lycanthrope, Witch Hunt, Okay, poisons a whole town, and people will be coming beasts every month. <laughs> Man, I really like that idea. Um, there's a 
Valaki. Uh, in the Curse of Strahd, there's a place called Valaki, and what did I do? Uh, I didn't do anything bad. The players just balls things up really bad, and the whole town's been wiped out. <laughs> um, but I like your idea, Overlord. It, it sounds sounds very clear. I, I, I really would be tempted to do that myself, but um, I'm trying to wrap up that campaign, but it sounds like a really good idea. Uh, I should definitely do some werewolf lycanthrope videos, tactics. That's really complicated, though. I mean, there's so many things you could do. All right, where's my yellow? Buzzmoo. What a fabulous name. Buzzmoo. Oh. Uh, you're making a pirate cove? Resin. For water? Waiting for the base to dry so you're watching this. Yeah, somebody told me that um, when they're doing uh, their painting, they watch other people paint. And that um, if I was smart enough and I wasn't absolute garbage at it, which, which I kind of feel like I am, um, people would watch. And so... Oh, currently in play with pigment powders and seeing what kinds of effects I can use for them. Oh, okay. So what brings you to here to watch my little, you know... Let's, let's get real here. My painting talents are limited. So I, I'm quite curious as to why people like the idea of coming and watching my channel, because there must be so many channels who do live stream painting, right? And um, I'd be curious as to why you decided you... Buzzmoo. You're in the market for that. Ah. Tank tracks. Not many Kiwis stream in the same... Stream the same, I guess. Oh! I suppose that's true. There, there probably isn't that many Kiwis who stream in New Zealand. And of course, this is the, the weekend, right? People are off work, painting their, their miniatures and their, um, their armies and so forth. Used to play uh, Warhammer 40k. Quite a bit of it. I don't now. But I do, or did, in the past. Well, that would explain a lot. Hadn't thought about that. That makes sense. Okay, this is... I have... You know what I should have done? I should have started with the yellow and added just a small amount of blue. Because it's going to take me forever to get to a green that I like. I hate to say it, I'm really, really fussy when it comes to doing my videos and you have no idea how long it took me to get the guts to do a live stream and the first live stream I did, <laughs> I just chucked a hat on and just like, I, I just can't figure out how to do this without sort of never getting it done. So I'm just going to just make it happen. <laughs> oh. Okay. Shake, shake, shake. Definitely going to have to add a lot more yellow. So I'll just plonk a big blob in there and see what happens. I know you can go and buy um, different shades of colour and, you know, but it does seem like a really expensive way to go, which is why I'm mixing. Alright, add some more. I still don't feel like it's light enough. I want to... I want to have a bit more um, definition in this thing. And I do not... I'm trying not to go and do the, the crazy thing, which is just to use white and r really lightly drum brush it over, because I know it will pull out all the detail, but... Oh, okay. Citadel paints and a handful of craft paints. I only have been doing this for a year, so I'm not that far ahead of you, really. Oh, okay. Well, to be fair, you see what I have here? I used to paint all the time. Um, and I haven't painted for years. I actually stopped painting because my hands were so messed up. 
um, I'm in the carpentry field and I damaged myself, my back and my eyes were shot and you know, I, I find it really hard to paint and so I actually stopped painting for years. Ah, thank you Richard, I'm glad you like my videos. At least, at least I'm, I'm, I'm useful to somebody. So yeah, I, uh, I had been painting for years, but I st I've stopped, you know, I'm, I'm like 46 and I was painting when I was, what, 20 something. Um, so that was a long time ago. <laughs> like a long, long time ago. <laughs> Okay, now now I'll probably put too much yellow in. Let's see how it goes. I feel like that is actually pretty close to what I've got there. Although it still feels very blue. You never know. It might work out. Well, that's a much more yellow green. That, that, that's certainly done it. That's made a more yellow green. I think that is my next colour that's going on. Because if I add any more, there's going to be a quite a, an obvious change. <laughs> okay, that's, that's certainly an improvement. I think that is good. All right, we'll use that. And stay there, brush. Stay. Here's my little container. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my gosh. I was supposed to finish this up like 15 minutes ago. My partner doesn't finish work till 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock if, um, if she's having to work late. We'll see how we go. Although I'm supposed to be staying for dinner. Somebody's, my, my, um, my sister... I'm supposed to be making me fish and chips. Now, I know that sounds weird, like why would you just not buy fish and chips? But I can't. Um, I can't go and just buy fish and chips, primarily because of my dietary issues, which I'm supposed to be going and seeing a specialist about very shortly. But, yeah, I'm kind of excited about that, because um, she's really good at making everything. <laughs> Ah, oh, man, did that make a difference? I'm going to bring this a bit closer so you can see. So, I'll do it on the other side so you can see what's happened. So there it is, and now apply. I don't know if that, that's completely obvious, but it made a big difference from my point of view in terms of um, just how it's coloured. Thinking of using Jenga in a Dungeons and Dragons um, game. Oh, okay. Some of the walls move in and out, ceiling. Oh, right, like um, like that scene from what is it? Uh, it's a Predator versus Alien, where they have the the temple with all the walls and ceilings and floors that move around. You're trying to duplicate that, um, Joss. I like the idea. I think it's a great idea. Oh. Okay. Let's just see. Brush that off a little bit. Okay, good. Ha! Finally. Now we're talking. It's just a matter of perseverance, right? and then eventually you get what you want. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I watched that movie not so long ago, um, Predator vs. Alien, and I was actually thinking about that particular scene. And um, I like, I mean, there, there are things about Dungeons & Dragons 4E that are quite clearly, you know, annoying. Uh, I don't know that everybody feels that way, but... I did like the skill challenge when it was used for action scenes. I think, yeah, Indiana Jones style stuff. You know, action scenes where you're not talking to somebody because who wants to roll dice when you're supposed to be talking to an NPC or a monster or anything like that? 
If you're going to be talking to somebody, why would you bother rolling dice? Just talk. But action scenes, little skill checks, the skill challenge, I always thought that was a really good idea. I just didn't like the the multi, the really long multi-faceted um, um, skill challenge. They were just too much, you know? I feel like three or four checks uh, to achieve whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, and that's it. That makes a really good action scene. And it, don't forget the, the classic boulder rolling down towards you, the murder boulder. I was actually thinking the other day when I was looking in one of the stores that there's a, um, you can buy those plastic spheres made out of polystyrene that I should make, a, do, a, do a video on how to make your own murder boulder and put it, you know, as a, as a miniature that you can roll around. <laughs> it's not something that you can destroy, right? So you've got to avoid it while you're dealing with something else. And uh, if it's rolling down a hill <laughs> towards you, that would be the sort of the setup. Try to escape it while other things are going off. It'd be very exciting. Well, okay, so this is this is that light color that I made. I don't know if you can see that clearly. I'm going to show you that so you can see the transition from that color to the one I had before. Now, I don't know if it's completely obvious. Make sure up oh, too close. Come back a bit and move it over a bit. Can you see? There is a there is definitely there's a difference. It is a lot lighter. And I feel like the the snake actually looks more like it's green now than before it really didn't look that green. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. I think I might do just another brush over with it. Um, but maybe that's maybe that's not necessary. Hmm. Uh, no, I will. I'll do another brush over. And then I'll do the other other two. Okay. Brush, brush. And... Alright, I'm going to be really aggressive now. Because it's a snake, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect too, which is sort of kind of nice, helpful for me. <laughs> uh, pop that off, and I'll put that over there, and stick the next one on. I had a bunch of um, skill challenges I did in the past, and one of them I think I've talked about before was like a sandworm from June. Um, which I worked out really well. It was a lot of fun. The players really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, and I shared it with the community um, when they were doing that sort of thing for Wizards of the Coast. They had like that website that you could sort of put stuff up on, and it was really, really popular. And it was—I actually thought it was a really nice skill challenge. It was really exciting. It was actually probably a bit overly long, but surprisingly, that didn't distract from the fact that people loved it. And when I ran it, it worked out so well. Um, but I also have another one where my players were journeying down a, a lava, a, la a lake of lava, you know, on a boat. And I thought, well, you know, going down a, down a lake of lava is far more scary and problematic than water. So I had that built in. And this is, I think this was uh, in a, a troll warren of some kind. And it worked out really nicely. Okay, all right. Okay, I'm, I'm just being pretty um, rough now. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't know if you're necessarily learning anything whatsoever. <laughs> What's that, Joss? Um, yeah, chase scenes in D&D, it's hard to do. Yeah, yeah, they are. And what was that? Uh, for a while, throwing curveballs to the power gamers, keeping them on the edge. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, lava works out well. Um, storms are good. I mean, storms are actually pretty easy to do a skill challenge with because there's so many things that can happen. You can break rigging. You can have, um, you know, the, the ship hit rocks or uh, have to avoid something. Um, lightning strikes, you know, having to control the rigging, um, take down sails, 
uh, rescue uh, crew members who have you know got themselves into a lot of trouble all that sort of stuff works out really well I've done that before that that was a nice skill challenge as well I've actually been wanting to do a video series on that but you know I mean even with me doing one video every day it's nowhere enough content uh, to keep up with all the ideas that keep bubbling through my mind so so I don't think I'm gonna run out of ideas anytime soon but whether I get all these ideas to you guys anytime soon it could take years hopefully I'm still around doing this years from now man that made such a difference I should have that's what I should have did I should have mixed my own color the very first time rather than using pre-bought camo <laughs> God. whatever Never mind. It definitely looks green now. And because that paint is actually drying out and not wet, it's actually um, it's actually going on a lot better now. Surprisingly. It's good. I'm happy. Yeah. Yeah, the snake is starting to come on. It actually, the, the detail is starting to sort of show through. Eh? You can actually tell... Before it didn't really look like you could actually see much of the detail. Um, so I'm glad. That's good news. Yeah, minions and, and 4E were really nice. The maths was balanced in 4E. Uh, I, it was a very balanced system, but I found that by the time I got to level 8, 9, 10 with 4E, there's nothing I could throw at my players without cranking up the difficulty like three or four times to, to actually make them sort of sweat. Otherwise, they just bumbled on through and laughed at everything that I've th th placed in front of them. So, <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know about balanced. Certainly near the um, beginning, it was all very balanced. I'm not sure that that's a, um, a plus for Dungeons & Dragons. I'm not, I'm not really... a uh, uh, you know everything has to be balanced sort of kind of guy mainly because most of my my encounters are never balanced they're usually really easy or um, they're moderately hard and then they're like impossible <laughs> I have a, a sort of a an array of them you know easy medium and really really hard and just sheer impossible and uh, I haven't really wanted to do videos on, on the fact that that's how I tend to run my games because I think it would scare a lot of people. <laughs> I don't want to scare everybody off. My players are sort of use, used to it now, so they, they know that so I start off gentle and, and then uh, I, you know, eventually I, I just throw in a really tough encounter they weren't expecting. Okay, um, I'm going to add more yellow. Because I kind of like what that did. I think that worked. Uh, in that little plonket there. Yep, that's good. Dum, dum, dum. So you can see what I mix. Hopefully, you can see the change in the colour. It's like, yep, I've got it angled right. Ugh. Well, it's a lighter green. But it's, it is getting very yellow now. I don't know that... Um, I feel like I need to um, head more towards white now. Because I know white will help pull out the detail. But I don't want to just go blatantly straight over with uh, off-white. Um, before I ever played with miniatures, there was an encounter with a colossal metal golem in the ruins that moved the stone walls about. Like Harry Potter and the staircase. Ah, I like that. That's cool, Overlord. I actually, I got a, I drew a map um, of a a metal golem. It was, it's like a gate, um, and I think I've got one of a, a sort of a dead giant or a dead god that they can explore. It's like the insides of a, a creature of some kind that the uh, the players can sort of. Um, interact with you know use that as the dungeon you know the inside of your your giant or your monster or uh, or your, your golem 
I don't think that's a, an original idea. I think that's been done plenty of times before. But I still think it's a cool idea. Oh, God. E. Well, that's definitely very white. It's greenish and white. Okay. I'm gonna try what I'm gonna try this on one of the the, <laughs> the snakes, but it does look kind of icky. Hopefully, it'll pull the detail out more. All right, let's try that. Stick on. And yeah, dear. Okay, all right. So I'll try to position it so you can see what I'm doing. Do, 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 do. Uh, oh, I'm worried now. <laughs> I'm a little worried. Hardest part of playing D and D, playing D and D, is the first 45 minutes. Terrifying. Yep. First time started. Getting the food orders going. <laughs> I totally understand what you're talking about. Um, oh, okay. Um, all right. That's not. The, that's actually not too bad. I thought it was going to be a bad idea, but it actually, it, it's. It kind of works. All right. Learn something new. Hi, Darren. What time is it over there in Canada? Oh. Okay, all right, I'm 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 changing my mind. It did look really bad in the container, but it is making a, a significant difference to my snake, which actually looks a lot better. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's it's pretty, pretty late over there. Like 10 o'clock. 10 p.m. I don't know if you guys can. I um, if I, I keep moving this um thing around and you can't necessarily see, but it is it has definitely made a significant difference having that that white added into the green. It is picking up the detail a lot more. It looks more like what I was sort of aiming for in the first place, and and there's lots of transitions in from the black to the green so as you know because if you've been watching the whole time it's like I've been doing this for a while now that made a huge difference okay I'm gonna grab one of the other ones so you can compare it and see what you think yeah huge contrast difference can you see the difference? Oh, not too close. Bring it back, Fred. Fred, come on. Down a bit. Yeah, there's a big contrast difference, and it's made a huge, huge improvement on what I was doing. So um, that was definitely uh, a good idea. <laughs> not a bad idea. It was a good idea. Okay, so I've got to do the rest of them before that paint all dries up. Ugh, come on. Four o'clock. Oh God, I better get moving. I've got to paint what? Teeth. There's like four teeth in the one eye. God, I suck at doing eyes. And I was going to do the belly as well with some yellow, but I'm a little worried about doing that. I'm thinking what I might do is I might do a transition from green to yellow very quickly to make that work. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, yep, that's fine. Brush, brush, brush. Do, 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 do. It's always the, the prep and the build up to your colors A to make it actually work for you. I've forgotten just how much time building up the colors you actually have to spend. Ah, uh, yes. Yes! Now it actually looks like a snake. Ha ha. Okay. 
one pretty good looking snake. Make sure I got it all. Yep, that's fine. Pop that off. Do the next one. Okay, next one. This paint's almost gone. Get my ass into gear, otherwise it's going to be having to make up another batch. Don't want to do that. Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Yeah. Oh. You know, I have spent like the whole morning, it feels like it, since what? Is it two o'clock? Is this like two hours? God, I hope my phone keeps up. Is it going to run out of power? Probably going to run out of power at some point. I know I did a video and it was like two hours and 40 minutes, which is like a stupid long time. I mean, what was I thinking? On my phone, I live stream on my phone because trying to do it on my camera is like impossible. I have still been trying to figure out how to do it, but it's, it's proving to be more challenging than I had thought it would be. But yeah, the phone, um, the phone eventually will run out of charge. And it's not close enough to a PowerPoint to plug in and have it charging as I go. So you're, a, you're not late to the party, Darren. You're, you're at exactly the time you were expected to be here. Because <laughs> you, 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 you weren't expected to be here at all. You, you know, you can show up or you can watch these things after anyway. You know, I know it's nice to chat along with me. Body weight eight, well done. Um, yeah, you could do that if you want to, if you're painting. So I think that's made a fairly significant difference to the, to the green um, snake. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my green that I've got there, I'm gonna put some water with it. <laughs> and I'm gonna add a lot of yellow I'm going to try to do the belly sort of, I'm going to use not this brush because this is just too big. I'm going to use a smaller brush and try to cover it and coat it. Yeah, Josh, go to bed, man. It's, it's midnight. Maryland. East coast of the USA. Well, you have a good sleep, um, Joss. Thanks for um, showing up and watching. So let's get the belly done and then I'm going to get the eyes in and I think I think the smartest way for me to do the eyes is to go white to then yellow because I feel like eyes should be yellow on a snake although with the green that might be it might look a little bit weird. Hi Nate how's it going? All right that's dry and okay so now I just need to add a bit of water, which hopefully will work. Thank you. I will. I will have a great dinner. I'm hoping she shows up before I have to leave because I I'm <laughs> I got to tra travel for an hour to my partner. Okay. So that is the green that I was using, and I added um, white to it. Do you know, given that it, it the white had such a, a dramatic effect, I'm actually wondering if I should go more white in the belly. I mean, in here. Just to stroking that area there, so it's more white. Green and a sort of a greenish white in the belly. I think that might be a better idea. All right, let's try that. It doesn't work, I can do something else anyway. All right, let's mix that up. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, it's very white. Keep mixing it. Oh, it might look terrible. <laughs> you really never know until you do it, eh? Well, it's definitely going to stand out. 
because that's like a very sort of icky, greeny, light, oh, green. yeah, there's a light green. <laughs> and it's definitely going to stand out. Okay, so I, I got to use a smaller brush to make that happen. Um, what have I got here? I'm going to use one of these cheap, cheap things. Uh, I don't think I can use anything else. I think that's going to be the best way to go. So I'll use that, stroke it on, just on the belly, and see what happens. Yeah, I'm just going to dry brush it. I, I'm not, um, I'm not really that good at painting, Nate. So you know, layers and so forth. I'm just going to dry brush on a really light green on the stomach, since I've built up all of my um, my green already. Oh, I forgot about um, forgot about actually sticking it on the container. That might help. Ah, stay. All right. Let's see if this works. I feel like that's not going to be very easy to put on. Ah. Oh, this is going to be tricky, yes. And that brush is separating too, of course, because I'm dry brushing, not painting it on wet. Okay, all right. I may, I may change my mind with this. Well, the nice tip on the mount is make sure you have three of these. If you're doing three miniatures, make sure you have three, because every time you pull them off, your fingers wind up leaving finger marks all over it. Hmm. Right, I don't really like how that's working out. It's going to be very, very difficult. No. I, I think my only solution to doing this is to actually get a smaller brush and just paint it on very carefully, and that's it, because that's just not going to work. It doesn't look bad, it just, just, this isn't going to work. Try something else. And, not too dry, not too wet. Paint on, come on you. Yep, 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 yep. Ah. Oh. Use an eyelash. Yeah. My eyelashes fall out all the time. I suppose I could. Um oh, now I've gotta now I've gotta hold it really still. I don't talk very much while I'm doing this. You guys are going to have to understand. I just, I'm, it's, it's a little bit tricky. Ah, just brush off just a tad. Oh, it's fiddly. Oh, now my hand's shaking. Right, got it. <laughs> Use some bead here as a DIY dry brush. All right, okay.
Well, I think that's working. It's just really difficult and going to take a little time to get it on. Too much. Ah. Uh. I'm going to dry brush with your beard. I like that idea. That could be tricky. Well, it's not terrible. And try a bit higher. Underneath the uh, neck of this thing is going to be the worst bit. It'll be the hardest for me to apply it. I think I can probably get away with not doing completely underneath the neck because nobody's going to see it. I know that's cheating. I know that's cheating. Oh. I'm going to have to get a finer brush at some point. When I got some money, I'm going to go pay for the specialist. $370 um, dollars New Zealand to go see a specialist if you don't have, um, don't have uh, using the public service. Yeah. Hill giants in a hill. Rolling rocks down. Spiral. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Hey Nate, how's um, how's your build up? I know you you were running quite a few groups and uh, getting them organised into Dungeons and Dragons. Is that working out? I know you had a few problems at one point. Ah, oh, bum. Seven group campaign is still going strong. Oh, cool. And that's a lot of people. I had to go to a convention. Uh, well, I didn't have to, but uh, I went to a convention in New Zealand and we had about eight tables, eight groups playing all at once in what's called uh, an epic, which is quite cool. It's a good idea. Just. Um, just a bit of a handful to manage. I can't imagine what you have to go through to make all that work. Uh. Okay, all right. Okay, guys, what do you reckon? Am I on the right track, or does it look like garbage? Tell me. I'll get it closer so you can have a good look. Um, look on the other side. I think the sort of a whiter under underbelly is kind of nice. The light green looks great. Okay, I think that's what we'll do with the rest of them. We'll pop that off. I think I'm happy with that. So we're we're on the right track. Yeah, don't worry, Nate. I ain't, I ain't, I'm not an artist either. Um, just just a hobby. Just a hobby for me. Uh. Right. How 
how far are we into this um, this video? How long is it? I can't tell from where I am. Because the light's going, I can't actually see how long the video's been going. Uh -huh. Oh. Um, I don't mind you um, putting it putting it up. That's not really going to be a problem, Nate. I understand where you're coming from. What I um I think would be better is you send me by email because we had a discussion about this. Because there's not much I can really help you with. Is you send me some more detail and I just do a whole video on your group. Yep, and I'll post that up sometime and put all the links in. But you won't be able to put a link into the chat because it'll probably block you. And I don't really know how to turn that off. I know somebody tried to put a link in during the middle of a live chat and it didn't work last time. Yeah, well, crap. I know what you mean. I know it. But seriously, though, send me an email. Give me a little bit of time. Give me lots of information on your group, where it is and all that sort of stuff, what's going on. And I will do a whole video on your gaming group. Make sense? I think that's the best I can do. Oh, Ooh, I'm, I'm disliking this. Uh, <laughs> this is really tricky. Well, I, I think the reason f that YouTube Live has that is probably to stop people from, you know, uh, jumping in and then deciding to use it as a platform to advertise all their stuff. Otherwise, you'd have spam bots galore, wouldn't you? You can stalk my channel all you like, but send me some stuff via email so I know what your group's doing, everything, and I'll do a video. You were worried this wasn't going to work out, eh, now, Nate? I know, I know you, when you first contacted me, I know you were like, ah, oh, he's not really interested. He's not going to help. You were wrong. I think the only problem that it's going to arise is if a whole lot of people start emailing me and asking for that sort of thing, that I, and I, I wouldn't necessarily have the time to do them all. I'm a small channel, so hopefully that doesn't happen. Okay. Oh. All right. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. I can barely see what I'm doing. And I'm using my good brush too, so that I'm definitely going to have to get another brush. Stroke, stroke. You know, if I can do this, anybody can. Good night, Nate. I'll see you later. Yes, we do have lives to deal with. I totally get that. I feel like this one's not working out quite as well as the last one. Maybe just because it, it's... Okay, well, I'm not going to get too picky because otherwise I'll be here forever. Then the phone will run out of charge and then you'll wonder why I suddenly drop off. And we want to get the eyes done as well, right? 
would be the key to actually get the eyes done as well. Okay, I think that's going to be good enough. Let's do the next one. Haha. -ha. Squeezing it, squeezing it. Oh, pardon me. I've got gas. Actually, I need a drink of water. Okay, it's better. Okay, all right, let's get the next next snake done. Get his underbelly done. And then start working on the teeth and the eyes. Oh. God, just fiddly and tricky and doing it with a shaken hand. I don't think um, I don't think I'm gonna be um, getting fish and chips tonight. She's not back yet. So it looks like I'm gonna be having to cook my own food which is probably going to consist of heating up some old rice, a few carrots that I had um, cooked during the week, and maybe a couple of eggs. That'll be exciting. Ah, oh. balls and bugger. Okay, that's not working. Let's try that, try that again. Just turn it around so you can see it a bit better. I'll get hold it upside down. Ugh, man, it's hard enough to get it on. I'm trying to get it so you can see it on the camera is hard too. Oh, come on you. Just, just go on. Go on. Apply. Okay, this is officially my least favorite bit. Doing the underbelly. Yeah, I can't have soy sauce though. It has to be like straight soy. It can't have any, it can't have any dairy in it or gluten or sugar. <laughs> it's like. It's, it's like very hard to find soy sauce. It's just soy, and that's it. I'll probably just pile salt all over it. <laughs> and that'll be, that'll be my dinner. Anyway, so for anybody who winds up watching this later on, or comes back to this, ah, oh, that sort of messed it up, um, it is probably going to take a long time for me to trim this down. What I've found is, you know, when a video is like an hour or two long, even if you trim off the front because you've been setting up and so forth, it takes a long time for YouTube to be able to process it, which makes sense because it's like forever. Uh, but yeah, it'll take a long time to get that sorted out. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> Sorry there. Didn't, didn't mean to do that. I'm actually getting hungry myself. It's getting late. Ah. Okay, well at least I got three. I got one that came out fairly decent and the other two are sort of in between terms of the underbelly. This is a problem. My hands are getting harder to hold still. I'm getting tired. It's getting harder to 
lights going. All right, okay. Pull it off. And clean, 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 clean. Let's take the plunge. Let's go for the eyes. No, teeth, teeth, teeth. That's what I want to do. Let's do some teeth. Because teeth are like, there's four teeth on each of these things. And I just need like a blob of paint just to cover them so that they sort of stick out. And that'll be that. Okay. Ditch this, ditch this. And is that white still that gone hard? Yes, it has. Thought it would. Uh, that is going to have to be washed. Oh, here we go. Right, let's get some details into this thing. Before my camera runs out of um, charge. <laughs> Stick it on. Ta da And paint. I'll shake it. Keep, I keep forgetting to shake the white. Here we go, white. Now, just need a brush to have a tip. And a little bit of paint. Brush off just a little bit and see what happens if I just apply just a smidgen to the little fangs in the front. Hang one. Hold it still. Hang two. Fangs in the front. Hang three. Oh. I don't know if you can necessarily see them. That's the trick is going to be not doing too much. Ah, come on, where is it? Oh, it's separating. Come here, come here. Get your get your fangs in there. Right. Fang one, fang two, and back of the fang. All right, I think that is probably good enough in terms of the fangs. I'm just going to show you really quickly. I'm just, hang on, the system is buffering again. Snap, something went wrong. Ah. Oh, yeah, there we go, we're back. Okay, so that. That are my teeth. I think that's good enough. If, if I try to do it, the, the detail is not super duper fantastic on this miniature, so trying to get too fancy with it, it's just going to be a waste of time. It's not like it's a Games Workshop uh, miniature where the, the detail is really, really finely sculpted. These are for like from a board game, so. Oh, it started raining. Okay. And. Fangs on the bottom. I think I missed in the center there. I wonder if I've got any black paint left. If I've got some black paint, I might just see if I can. Yeah, there's a possibility. Let's wet it. Oh, am I just fiddling around too much now? One of the worst traits to have is to be um, a perfectionist and not be quite happy with anything. And 
that's unfortunately one of my um, flaws. Everything is sort of takes forever because I'm never happy with stuff. Okay, all right. Get over it, Fred. Let's get the, the fangs in. It's here. Yeah, it's like that, eh? Short lifespan for um, people with um, <laughs> with a desire to have everything perfect. You build so much stress for yourself. Well, those teeth didn't turn out quite as well as the last one. I just sort of I, I must have used just a tad too much, and it's sort of bled over into the other tooth. Uh, you like the uh, the simple models? You try and paint a Games Workshop miniature, you get aggravated. Oh, okay. Anyway, we're painting teeth. Stroke off red, stroke off, and try again. One, two, that didn't come out too badly. And then up the top, oh, come on. One of the hairs is sort of strain. This is what I, this is the sort of part of the painting side of things that I don't like is the really fiddly stuff. It's, it's really hard for me to do. My brother loves it. I was watching him the other day and he was painting a head. I keep doing these videos live and I'm thinking that he will actually get off his butt and start live streaming some of his, his videos because he's so much better at it than I am. He doesn't. Well, what's going on? I know he's got his camera set up. He can do it. He could use his phone. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Don't overthink it, Fred. <laughs> that's that's the fangs done and that's really just a blob of paint on each one a little bit of white so they stand out because there, there's not much there there's not much detail to play with as it is um, now I want to do some eyes and I feel like the eyes should be yellow but I also feel like if I just go straight yellow it won't have enough definition so what I'm going to do with one of them is I'm going to try to use white leave it and then come back to it and then use yellow over the top of the white and then go black and see if that gives me an eye that looks decent because it's already got a black um, base because that's what I put on before come on brush yep there we go and now I'm nervous eyes are always the hardest bit I knew it. Just knew it. There's too many things that can go wrong with this, I can see right now. So there's white. I just don't feel like it's enough. If I keep going further, this brush is just not fine enough. Yeah, well. It's, I've always had plenty of good plans that, that they don't necessarily work out. Okay, all right. I feel like the eye on a um, snake should be kind of like long, not like a, a dop, a, blo a blob. It should be like long and... Uh, Okay, well, 
Okay, don't get too fancy, Fred. Let's keep going. Eyes, eyes, eyes. Well, once I get the first one done, um, the others should be pretty easy to figure out, eh? Okay, all right, so there's the white. Pull that off. Grab another one. Thank God they only have two eyes each. Otherwise, I'll be doing this forever. <laughs> Believe it or not, guys, we're, we're getting close to the end. Ah. Ah, oh, it went the wrong way. Can I get away with it? Just ignore that. <laughs> um, okay, let's... Oh, I'm going to lay it down flat. You won't but I see very much, or I think that if I can angle it, maybe I can get you a better view. Oh, now I'm just ballsing it up more. Ah, uh, okay, all right. I'll just go down to the other side. One of them is going to have like a weird eye. Not so bad, and yeah, I was gonna grab that green over here and see if I can't tidy up that little bead piece. I just don't want to spend too much time on this because my my phone will literally die on me, and I'll be in the middle of doing doing eyes when I should have been finished by now. Come here, come here, nothing. Come on. It's not going to work. It's because all of my paint is dry. Because I'm not using a wet palette. Okay. Bugger. Next die. See if I can get that eye in. Oh. Okay, that's that. I might be able to get away with just using the... Oh my gosh, I hadn't thought about that. If you're in, a, if you're in Australia, paint would dry really fast. You'd have to put something with it to, to stop it from drying. A retarder, yeah, makes perfect sense. Okay, all right, so let's, I'm still feeling like I need to fix that eye a little bit, so I'm just going to drop a little bit of the camo and see if I can't just patch it. Because it looks bollocky. Ah, oh, come on.
All right, slightly better. Okay, that was white. Although I can come back to white if I need to, but I don't don't think I will. I'm going to go for the yellow, and see if I can get that that yellow eye in on my um, snake. Move this round, sorry guys, so you can actually see what I'm doing. Although all I am is putting paint on a uh, a lid, so it's not super duper interesting. And squeeze that on. And now we just got to get the yellow over the white. And I don't think I need to use a lot of yellow, but just enough. Yeah. Okay, one blob. One blob and that's it. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. I'll bring it a little bit closer. Oh, too close. So that's that's my eye with my yellow. Um, put that there. You are drawing. You can stay there. Let's do this again. Yeah, well, I, I have limited what I've tried to, I have tried to limit what I'm doing. I've stuck to green, white, yellow, and black. It's pretty, it's pretty limited. Okay, all right. So if I can do this with you guys actually able to see what I'm doing and get it right, would be bonus. Canada's nice and dry as well, eh? Oh. Oh, I can barely make out. It doesn't look too bad, though. Here's that eye that I balls up with the white. Yep, no, that's it. I'm gonna do the white again. You guys are right. I just touch it up a little bit, put a bit more white back over it to clean it up, and then I'll do the yellow. And with any luck, it'll work out. Yep. That's the white. Ah. Okay. Felt like that was just dumb luck, but it worked out. Ha! Ha 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 Yeah. Well, maybe I should get myself some foam and make myself a palette like that too. Particularly if I'm going to keep trying to do these painting videos. Although, I think this is really just for me to de-stress it more than anything else. I don't think it's, it's anything remotely useful to anybody else an opportunity for you guys to hang hang with me while you're doing your own painting and you know i'm tempted not to do anything like a dot of black because i know a dot of black would require a really small brush and it could just look like shite kitchen sponge works well too okay good to know i'm going to try one eye if it looks disastrous and I make a, a bulls up I'm not doing it and we'll just say that's good enough so we'll we'll try one if I can just find that's my black 
keep the yellow over there and the white because I might need it again. <laughs> and just a smidgen of black and a very fine um, fine brush which I don't have and a very steady hand which I don't have either. Ah, here we go. Okay, I feel like that might have been too much paint, but we'll see what happens. Ah, holding my breath. Ha! Ha! Okay. It kind of looks like he's got his eyes rolling back behind him, but, but it's but it's there. All right, other side. Yep. Okay, I got it. It worked. I mean, you. There's so little paint there, and it's so small. You probably won't see it on this phone. It's. I should get a decent phone, I suppose. But I never. So you can see, I've got my white, yellow, and black, and it kind of looks like it's got an eye. The other side over here. He kind of. He's kind of got got the the dot is actually at the top. I don't know if you can necessarily see it. It'd be a bit hard, aren't it, maybe? Well, I'm really hungry, so my hands are shaking like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's get the rest of these done. Because I've taken far too long just painting a green snake, of all things. Okay, here we go. Yep, that's one. Oh, this is this is the problem of you just need a single strand on this brush to start to separate and it doesn't hold together and then of course trying to get a lot just a tiny dot is impossible. Okay, all right, that one didn't turn out quite so well. It is there, but it, this one looks like its um, its eyes are rolling forward. <laughs> and then it, and in fact, if you look at both the eyes really quickly, they kind of look a bit goofy. <laughs> uh, last one. Holy Toledo, we've been here a long time. <sighs> Separated again. Wet up the brush, wet up the brush. And the black. Where is the black? Ha! Got it! Done. Done, 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 done. My snake. My snake. My snake. Make, make, make. Yeah, there you go. It's done. It worked. I don't know if you can necessarily tell all the detail because the camera is not like fantastic in terms of quality. <sighs> Thanks for hanging with me, guys. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm no, I'm no um, expert at this sort of thing, and uh, I should go and get myself organised because I'm supposed to be leaving shortly, and I need to need to feed myself before I uh, go and see my partner. So. That's everything from me. Uh, do my usual. No, will I do my usual? If you found this useful, please share, like, and subscribe. Most of you already subscribed anyway. <laughs> Thanks, Darren. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to sign off. I'll see you later. You guys have a good uh, night, day, morning, whatever you're currently dealing with, um, afternoon. And until next time, keep rolling those 20s.